Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the different states that our item can be in and describe them so that we understand why we need each state in the new enum that we're going to create for our item called item state. So the first state we're going to be concerned with is the equipped state. This is the state we're familiar with because our character already has a weapon equipped. We've spawned a default weapon and attached it to the right hand socket we've created. And we're going to consider this to be the equipped state for our weapon. So it's going to be held in our hand. That means it's attached to the socket. The collision for the weapon should be turned off. We don't need it to collide with anything in the world. This also means that the area sphere and the collision box are not going to respond to any sort of line trace or any other sort of collision. The equipped weapon variable will hold a reference to it, so there will only be one equipped weapon at a time, and we can always access that through our equipped weapon variable. The next state we're interested in is the pickup state. This is when the item exists as a pickup in the world. That means it's sitting on the ground. The area sphere and the collision box are active, meaning as soon as we walk into the area sphere, we update our overlapping item count. And if we line trace onto the collision box, then we'll show the pickup widget. It will not be attached to anything. It's just going to be sitting down on the ground. Now the next state is going to be called equip interping. To describe this state, I'm going to show you what we're going to implement in future videos for the item class. Here we have several weapons sitting on the ground. Now ignore the fancy flashing colors. We're going to implement those in future videos. What I want you to pay attention to is what happens when I pick up a weapon. So I'm going to pick up this SMG here and notice it flew up to my face when I picked it up. It came up right in front of the camera and flashed for a second and then it was inserted here into my inventory. Let's try this again. I'm going to pick up another weapon and there it was. It flew up to my face. So what it's doing is it's interpolating its location. So when the item is flying up to our face like this, we're going to call this equip interping because we're equipping the item, but there's this short period of time between the time we picked it up and the time it's inserted into our inventory. And that's when it's flying up to our face, interpolating its position. So that's going to be the state we call equip interping. So for the equip interping, we're picking up the item. It's flying up into our face. We're interpolating its position. The collision should be turned off because we don't need it to be interacting with anything. It's essentially just showing us what we're picking up. So even though we're going to implement this in a future video, this will be one of the states that we'll have in our enum. The next state that we're concerned with is the picked up state. That's when we've already picked up the item, whether it's a weapon or something else. And so we are not holding the item and it's not equipped in our hand. That would be the equipped state. This is when we already have an item in our hands and we're picking up an additional item and sticking it into the inventory. The collision should be off. In fact, visibility should also be off. We shouldn't even be able to see this item. We may show an icon in our item on the HUD but we're not going to be able to see the actual mesh in the game. Next, we have the falling state. Now, just like with the equip interping state, I'm going to show you what this state looks like. So here I have an inventory and it's filled with items. Now, again, we're going to implement all this in future videos. So don't worry about not having an inventory just yet. But since my inventory is filled with items, as soon as I pick up this weapon here, it's going to replace my equipped weapon, and so I'm going to drop the equipped weapon. Watch closely. There, see, it fell to the ground. That was the weapon I was holding in my hands before, and now I'm holding that assault rifle that I was looking at. Let's pick up this SMG, and there, we swapped weapons, and there's the assault rifle. 
So as I pick up a weapon, if my inventory is full, I don't have anywhere to put it. So I'm gonna take my currently equipped weapon and swap it out and throw down what I was equipping onto the ground. Now, while the weapon is falling onto the ground, I'm gonna call that the falling state. So there's a short period of time where it's falling to the ground. Now, as soon as it hits the ground, then that's going to be in the pickup state and it'll be ready to pick up again. But until that happens, it's on its way to the ground and that's gonna be the falling state. So when it's in the falling state, we are dropping the item. The item has not yet hit the ground, it's on the way to the ground. Now, as far as collision is concerned, it should be set to block the floor, so that way it will not fall through the floor, but bounce off of it. But the area sphere and the collision box should be turned off because we don't need that functionality to be active. It's simply falling to the ground. So in summary, we have five states for our item. We have the equipped state, which is where we've already equipped it. It's in our hands. It's attached to our hand socket. We have the pickup state where it's just sitting on the ground, ready to be picked up. We have equip interping, which is where we're picking up the item and it's flying up to our face, interpolating its position. We have the picked up state, which is where we've picked it up, but we're not equipping it. It's just sitting in our inventory. And finally, we have the falling state, which is where we're picking up an item, but our inventory is full, so we have to drop something. And once we drop it, it's falling to the ground. And in that time between when we've dropped it but before it's actually hit the ground, that will be the falling state. So those are the states that we're gonna want for our item. Now we're ready to define that enum in our item class. So we'll do that in the next video.